Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We are back with Mass Effect 3. We're doing the Citadel DLC. We're on the hunt for our clone. Let's try with this gun. This gun will just wipe it out anyway. Same here, Rex. Same here, my good man. Yeah, my good Krogan. Such a badass. Commander, a large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 347B. They want to kill me, do they? They want to kill me? Me? Shepard? You foolish, foolish troops. These guys ain't got a chance. The Rex just absolutely slaughtering them. Yeah, they never had a chance. Looks like I saved everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. Yeah, do what you want. You do what you want. Let's have a look around, see if there's any more law. You never know. I'll make sure I don't want to miss anything. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Your 710CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Out, restrain them both. I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. I never did. It was something that never should have happened. Genocide. Murder. That's what they did, they committed murder against the Krogans. Because they were afraid of what the Krogans would do. The Krogans were growing. Job. Spectre will be the best of the best. They will operate with impunity and answer 
answer only to the council. You will be the first. Now that sounds like the best job offer in the galaxy. Count me in. All right. Well, they're not wrong. I am still alive. Hi. I'm gonna stab you. Stabby, stabby. I'll get upstairs. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? There's Team Mako! We'll try to clear a path, Commander. Hammerhead's gone ahead. They've cut our radio signal though, haven't they? He really doesn't care, does he? He just smashes into everybody. Snipe out. Observation suggests that their role seems to be that of some sort of guardian. We will begin our exploration. Hunter, how long it took them to explore the entire station on their own? See, there's so much they could really do with Mass Effect. They could do a DLC or even like a. a a game where you play as each species when they discover each other, like you could start as the Asari when they first discover the Citadel. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you? They're down there, aren't they? You're 2183 CE. First Human Specter Deliberations, Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's her background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Mindwar. At 16, she survived a slaver attack that killed almost everyone in the colony, including her family. She enlisted with the Alliance a few years later. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Early in her career, Shepard alone survived a Thresher Maw attack that took down her entire unit. That's the kind of strength, the kind of grit she has. Thank you for your presentation, and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. <coughs> and the rest is history. Commander, do you copy? What's your status? That can't be good. 
Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? None that I can see. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in iridium vaults and forgotten for... well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. What a bitch. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear, if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So <laughs> Bloody sex bot. Forced to contain the situation. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. You're Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He is indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justica, the Quarian. Nice to have finally met you, Tali. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke her up. Fair warning, nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. <sighs> and yet they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here, but don't get comfortable. Because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. Shy Miranda wasn't doing? with us for this. Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh... I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die.
Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? She said I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Shouldn't we be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? How come nobody told me about this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. There's probably not much air in here either. For the three of us, maybe an hour, if we take shallow breaths. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please! Why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship, not even me. I've got room for Shepard plus two. And figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. Of course, we're taking Rex. Well, Rex has got to be the guy we take. Simple. There's no other choice. We've had Tally with us from the start, so I'm bringing Tally. That's the way it's going to go. Taking these two. What? I had hoped to come alone. You can come I back. Know what you mean? I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. Sorry, Ashley, but you're just not good enough. We've already got Rex. Rex is a tank. You're not. You're not on Rex's level. Sorry. That's all I can say. I'm very sorry. You're just not on Rex's level, and we don't. We won't get to use Rex again after this. I get to use. I can use her in another mission if I want to. If I want to, anyway. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear, you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. If they get the Normandy. We can still contact the Alliance directly, right? You can prove you're the real Shepard. No. She changed the logs to make her biometrics the official ones. We can't prove anything. Yes, that. Can we all just agree to be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. I won't forget about ED. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Go get the others. Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they call the cab or something. Good. I needed to kill something. <laughs> Stop me that easy. Oh, that's Tally's. That's why I brought her to give us another clip.
off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Most of those checks were just to make the captain feel better. Thanks for letting me know. Even wait, what <laughs> you how can you even look me in the eye after all that we I thought we and then you fire me for fraternization. <laughs> you kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. Hmm? Wasn't me, evil clone. But, but. <laughs> um, we'll just be over here whenever you're ready. I could explain more later. For now, <clears throat> it's sealed. No time to cut through. They're about to leave. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No, Edie? I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. You know the ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. You're doing great, Trainer. Doing great. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? Hell if I know. If you could do fine tuning with biotics, maybe you could trip it with a mass effect field. Good girl. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. this way wouldn't you rather take her down yourself she can't and she knows it armory find her slow her down she's panicking pretty sure we broke trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open Remind me to reimburse her for that. Hey, Shepard, reimburse Trainer for her toothbrush. Later. Remind me later. Little cramp in here. Oh, you guys are so screwed when I get out of here. Hello. Hi. That's right, you idiots. I've always wanted to have a firefight on the, on the deck as well. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, I'm
Technically, we've been in two with Joker, even though Joker wasn't actually fighting anybody. Edie, this is the real Shepard. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? She's offline. They must have disabled her. Let's get to the cargo bay. To all Cat 6 long range specialists. Subject primary weapon flexible account. All right, snipers. Management heard LRS Bell's complaints about having to go over standardized loadout instead of customizing your gear. So here's the deal: you can either take a standardized loadout or apply for a flex account that gives you an annual stipend to apply toward new weapons, upgrades, and maintenance. You're cool, but anyone who goes crazy with mods and blows their own foot off with high explosive ammo is SOL, like LRS Bell. Credit in your flex account expire at the end of the year. Fiscal, not calendar. Also, a LRS Bell is no longer fit for service. We're passing the hat for anybody who wants to chip in for a you shot your foot off card. So we can send Susan off to retirement with a smile. Send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal as a warship is not an appropriate ho oh, ho. That is not okay. It's okay, hamster. You've been practicing with that shotgun. Still remember the fast reloading trick I showed you? You know, I've taken care of myself for the past few years. I know. I'm old and I worry. Even though my favorite quarry is all grown up and killing reapers. You're like the crazy headbutting uncle I've never had. Rex is that to all of us. That's why we love Rex. Come on out, you scumbags. Where are you? Come on. Well, that's creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your specter rank, even your fingerprints. Where's the other jerk? And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are going to fool the council? Or hack it? We got defeat them both. You're the first person I'm taking punishment out on, you bitch. Where's I gone, bitch? About the crap ones. Fuck on these idiots. Have a grenade. It's a toy. Brooke's gone. Good. She's out of the fight. Where's the clown gone? What have you got? Are you oh, you're a lunatic. Me? 
Whoa, what's going on with the ship? Nice Cortez, isn't it? Cortez being a maniac. <laughs> Holding up his ship. Now I've got my most powerful attack. Mate, you screwed, love. Where are you going over there? I already messed you up, bro. What are you doing away? You should be screwed again. Oh, God. They're trying to mess me up here. I can't even get out of it. I couldn't get out of it. They trapped me in some weird attack. That was weird. I actually got stuck. On a map. No, 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 no. On a map. The triangle. Back to that. There we go. That jerk gone. Where's the ammunition in this place? Oh, there we go, ammunition. Ooh, great, a medic here, wonderful. Oh, don't stop throwing grenades again, you jerks. Did you get your scars from? You didn't get any. What about 
this hijack. Here, take my hand. And then... And then you live. For what? Okay. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Good. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya. I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So, serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more someday. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape. Come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for her life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, she wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. In the old days, we've just shot her. Huh. Good times. I know, Rex. I know. We're changing. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Worst short leave ever. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Don't know about no explosions. But just us sounds perfect. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please, we party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. Yep. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I am in charge of the guest list. 
Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? <sighs> All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Glyph. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Purchase party supplies. Yeah, that's one thing I gotta do. Commander, totally. if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. No, I'm not. I'm not doing the party yet. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Nope, we're not doing that yet. I haven't got long. I want to spend time with someone. Who though? Oh, I'm gone. Yeah. Okay. This isn't it. Private terminal. Miranda Lawson, Shepard, would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Norman D. Fight me over some time. I'm in the area. James Vega. Hey, next time you're in the sweet new apartment with Time to Kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. That's from James Vega. E.D. Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participate in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply when we can meet at the new apartment. From Com Specialist Samantha Trainer. Commander, if you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel a Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. Drinks. Garrus. When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino, upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. From Javi Commander, I've also received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what? These primitives call the Silver Sun Strip. Although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. I'm your friends at Armax Arsenal Arena. Dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here in the Citadel, we've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass awaiting for you whenever you're interested. Thanks again, your friends are Max Arsenal. Hmm. Right up, who we got to invite up? E.D. James or Miranda. I have 15 minutes, so... Let's invite E.D. For, to begin with. Shepherd, she got us. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement part? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. 
I see. <laughs> Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Yes. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Oh, she got us. What's this ring? What? Uh, are we getting married? What? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. <laughs> Shopping. Oh, bless. I'm going down there usually. Uh, she hasn't left, has she? Has she left? I don't think she's left. They usually don't do that. They usually stay around. That's what they did in the last playthrough we did. Anybody that visited the apartment would stick around after we socialised with them. Where's she gone then? Where has Edie? Is she actually gone? Yeah, I think she's disappeared. Okay, Edie's gone. Okay, next person. I think I've got time to do another one. Let's do James. Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. Did you really come up here to talk about our personal lives? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Ah, oh, that's cool. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. He doesn't disappear. He doesn't work out, doesn't he? This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Yeah, I'm sure he gets off down here, doesn't he? Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No... 
punching bag, of course. You've been holding out on me. Oh man, <coughs> this is sweet. <coughs> and you got this one in, yeah. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <coughs> This is high quality stuff. <clears throat> what have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Not with the time Maybe. we got. Oh, this should be good. Have I got time to do it? I don't know. Let's see if I've got time <clears throat> to beat it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him. I've got eight minutes. That's 20. Uh, 20. <coughs> got a long way to go. <coughs> Let's beat him. Uh, have we really got the time? It's the only problem with it. It's how slow she does it as well. Like you can't just go L2, R2, L2, R2, L2, R2. You have to do it at the pace that it shows up. Got a ways to go, my friend. You keep counting. to go before we beat him. We can do it. Getting tired just watching you. Well, you want to keep punching the punching back, carry on. <sighs> I'm doing this. <clears throat> I wonder if we can actually do it. Cerveza? Shove it. <laughs> okay then. <sighs> that 
at 60. High five. Funny. <laughs> High five and we fall off. We're gonna get there, 64. <coughs> We're coming for your record, Vega. And there's nothing you can do about it. <clears throat> We're nearly halfway. Nice form. This, la this end of the video is just me doing pull-ups. Pull Wonderful. Go on, Shepard. Impressive. <coughs> this whole DLC is just fan service. I love it. It's brilliant. Gonna beat your record, mate. I have 80 up to go. Just 82 to go. 82? I'm going to 83 if I can. You know, most people would be happy with just a hundred. Mm, not me. <coughs> right, guys, this video is going to finish any second. So I will see you all in the next one. I'm going to carry on doing this.